1979, directed by Don Kiesler, starring Gloria DeHaven, Marshall Thompson, and Aldo Ray. In a small town, dynamite fishing awakens a prehistoric creature that feeds on the blood of women. Can the sheriff and some scientists stop this ancient menace before it's too late? This film was recommended by a fan. Thanks for the suggestion. I will never understand the brief 70s trend of opening your film with a sappy pop ballad. Like Poseidon Adventures The Morning After, this film opens with a drowsy love song seconds after someone is killed on screen. It sets a weird tone. The soundtrack feels suspiciously borrowed from other films, which, given how phoned in this film is, is entirely possible. Speaking of weird, the characters. Most of them are your pretty standard fare. Sheriff, scientists, terrified townspeople. But then you have the two husbands we're introduced to at the start of the film whose wives are killed in front of them, who spend the rest of the entire film seeming inconvenienced at most. Also, Gloria DeHaven plays two separate roles. A scientist named Ginny Glenn and an old bog witch named Adriana. This film features one of the most hilariously awkward love scenes I've ever seen. With little more happening than kissing and Gloria de Haven mouthing the words I love you again and again to the same drowsy love song that opens the film. The creature isn't shown on camera until far later in the film, and for good reason. It looks goofy as all hell. Interestingly, said goofy creature effects were not handled by a first-timer. They were done by Richard Albane, who worked on both Trilogy of Terror and Giant Spider Invasion, among countless other modest productions. The script is pretty messy in spite of a fairly straightforward premise. Ideas are introduced and then never really explored fully. Verdict recommended. It's obvious this wasn't anyone's passion project, classic case of second act slump as well but the film does stay goofy and bizarre enough to stay entertaining until the very end. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time another thrilling, low-budget adventure.